Hi, today we're just going to give you a brief guide on how to navigate through Impos Analytics. So to begin with, you'll want to navigate to reports.impost.com.au using your preferred web browser and enter the username and password that would have been supplied to you when you first signed up. If you've misplaced these details, just give our support team a yell and they'll be able to fill you in. And then once you've entered them, just click on the login button. By default, when you first log in, you'll be presented with our daily dashboard. This just contains a few of the core reports that you have provided with out of the box. Um, and by default, we'll display yesterday's data. So the few key metrics we can see here are sales by hour in a day, payment split by tender type, and also the daily sales split by menu category. So you can get that food and beverage breakdown. You'll notice that for this particular report, there are two hours of trade at the start of the day. So with the daily dashboard, it treats a trading day as 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. But we understand that many clients won't trade within this um, time frame, such as in this example. So what we've also got is a recalculated daily dashboard. And if we click over to this one, this dashboard treats the trading day from 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. So uh, anything just that bit past midnight will be counted towards the, the previous day's trade, as you'll see here, where those two hours at the start of the day will be against the previous day. So if you'd prefer the 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. trading day, just use this recalculated daily dashboard, and we can click this down arrow here and move left. And once the tab is the first tab in your list, that means it will be your default dashboard for when you next log into the system. So as I said, uh, the daily dashboards will by default display the previous day's data, but over on the right here, we have a filter menu, which allows us to change that selection if we want. So we can either pick a different individual day if we want to display data from a different day, or we can select a, a range of data if we want to say, see um, the metrics for the entire week. So once you've selected your updated date range, you have to click the apply button here. Um, likewise, if you have multiple venues feeding into the one instance of Impost Analytics, you're able to use this store name drop-down list to select an individual store. In this instance, we've only got the one, so we can either just leave a mitt or select that individual store. And then to reload with our updated selections, we just have to click the, the Go button here. So if we hover our mouse over these reports, you will notice a few additional items pop up. So first at the bottom left here is the camera image. If we click on this, it just expo exports the image, uh, the chart image here and allows you to save it if you wanna use it in your own presentations or reports or just to give a quick email out. Uh, at the top right here, we've got a few different options. So in this drop dropdown, um, Probably the most important option here is the export, which allows you to just quickly export out the, the report to a Word document, a PDF or Excel. Second up, we have this table icon here. And what this does is flips the, the report around and shows us the, the table behind the, the chart. So we can see um, the individual amounts behind that breakdown as well as the, the total. Um, and lastly, the expand option. Button. What this does is expands out the report and opens the individual report. So once we've opened an individual report, depending on the report, you might notice a few extra filter options than were available from the dashboard. So here we have the ability to filter by order hour. So if we wanted to say, see what the, the menu break, the, the sales by menu breakdown was for 1 p.m., we can enter hour 13 and click go to update that selection. Also, once the report's expanded, you might find you have a few um, additional options available in the data. So if you see this blue hyperlink option, what that does is allows you to, to click into the menu category and drill in and interrogate that data a bit further. So if we click on beverage here, this will drill into the department level and we can see uh, the amounts from each department that made up that um, overall beverage category total. And then we can uh, click in a, a bit further and say, if we want to see what coffee modifiers were popular, we can drill in that, that bit more and see what the breakdown is there. Um, if you want to go back up at the top of the screen here, we can then remove those drill down options and go back up to, to the top level report where we started. Uh, likewise, um, if we want to change the order in, um, 
So right now this report is ordered by alphabetically by menu category, but if we had a few more options here and we wanted to see what was ranking the highest, we could hover our mouse over here, change the sort order and sort the amount descending. And we can see that food had the, the, the top sales here. Um, if we go back up to the top of the screen, we'll see we've got a few options at the top here. Probably the, the key options here are the export button, which is like the export from the dashboard, but um, with a few more details. So for example, if we click on PDF, we can change the page size and orientation. Um, likewise, we've also got this export to CSV option here. Uh, this icon here is the broadcast icon. Uh, what this allows you to do is to set up scheduled broadcasts so you don't even need to log into the system and the reports can just be emailed to you each day so you've always got that data on hand. To set up an, a broadcast, what we do is click create new and broadcast. And so then we get this new broadcast window. So first off, enter the recipients. Um, you'll be able to select any user that is... Um, any user that's been created within Impos Analytics. And you also have the ability to enter in an email address manually. So this allows you to, to send the report out to perhaps upper management or something like that that doesn't uh, necessarily need to log into the system, but they need to keep track of those key metrics. So to do that, just type in the email address, hit enter, and that will, sorry, I've missed that as an email address. So I'll test at best.com and then hit enter and that will allow you to enter in a manual email address from here just enter the subject line so this is impos venue sales by category and then just enter what you want to appear in the body of the email so test report yesterday's data. So you can have the report send out in multiple formats, either uh, HTML, which means uh, the report will appear in the body of the email as HTML, as a PDF, CSV, Word doc, Excel, or just a text document. I'll select PDF. For the filter dropdown here, you'll want to select default filters in most circumstances. So uh, the default filters for this report is to show yesterday's data. So um, rather, so if you'd say had chosen the 26 and said current filters, you'd end up getting the 26 sent to you every day. So what we want to do is the default filters, which means it will always be yesterday's data. And then we can set our frequency um, either by minutes, daily, weekly, fortnightly. There's a lot of options here. We'll say weekly in this circumstance and on a Monday, I want to see this Monday morning. And then advanced settings allow you to select that time. So I'll say 6 a.m. So it's available in the morning. Once that's set up, just click Submit. And that'll recreate, create that new broadcast for you. I'll just exit out here. So that's the majority of what you can do within the reports. As I said, different reports will have different options and different drill through options, but to exit out and back to the dashboard, we just click that this X at the top right here. So other than accessing reports through the dashboard, you're also able to either click on the browse menu or search through our existing suite of reports. So you might have noticed with the daily dashboard, most of the reports were prefixed with um, Emma, on the recalculated dashboard there are. So the MR are our, our master reports and that's our main reporting suite. And then likewise, there's recalculated equivalents which shift that 12 to 12 trading day to a five to a five. So just to see what we've got here, I'll just type MR here in the browse menu and hit enter. And this will bring up the list of all the master reports we have available. So there's a lot of different options here. Um, feel free to, to browse through and see what we have available. Additionally, there is um, a article on our LEARN website, learn.impost.com.au, which gives you a bit of an overview of all of these master reports. So to open up any of them, you can just right click and click open, and that will take you into those details.
Uh, so that's the, the basics that we'll, we'll go through today. So hopefully you found that informative. If you'd like any additional inf information on Impost Analytics or if you'd like to, to get your venue signed up on Impost Analytics, just give our support, time, call, our support team a call at any time. Thanks very much.